Okay, I'm back, and unfortunately, I think I may have stopped recording and started a new video, which means I guess there's going to be a part one and a part two to this. That's not at all what I intended. I thought I could pause it and pick back up where I left off, and I'll have to check that out later. So, anyway, the, the country he was from, and how I can forget this, I don't know, although I just woke up. Um... It's the Ukraine. He's Ukrainian. So uh, so when he told me he, w he was not Russian, he was Ukrainian, I apologized for withholding the uh, foreign aid and told him that if I had been in charge, that would not have happened. So he, uh, he got a bit of a kick out of that. And, uh, and I told him, I said, I said, but quite frankly, I said, I, I love your, your, your accent. And he spoke English well, you know, with a relatively thick Ukrainian accent, as it turns out. I told him I was kind of kind of disappointed he was Russian because I wanted to find out what he knew uh, that he wasn't Russian, that, uh, that I wanted to find out, you know, what he knew about them uh, interfering with our elections. So he got, a, he got a kick out of that. I guess he's been in this country for 20 years. So, um, uh, I... So, so, you know, so he, he got a kick out of that. So, but uh, anyway, so he, he was a really, really good guy. And, and uh, with all that said, dropping the, 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 uh, the syringe and, and all that, um, uh, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty laid back guy. I, I, I can handle a lot of stuff and, and, uh, uh so I, uh, so it just just made the whole experience. Uh, you know, I, I got to joke with people, and and so it it made it you know maybe a little bit more fun than uh, than it might have been otherwise. Uh, so uh, anyway, so the the whole experience uh, you know was really, <clears throat> especially after it's over. Uh, doesn't seem that bad. Uh, now, I, I don't recognize. I don't recommend that you volunteer to do one of those for fun. In fact, the the doctor said he's never had one himself, and I suggested that he have someone do it on him so that he could be more, be able to relate more to his uh, customers. Uh, I don't think he thought that was a great idea, but. Uh, but that was my recommendation. Um, so we got out of there. Uh, finally, we left. Uh, uh, we uh, I sat there for a while, making sure I wasn't like bleeding and stuff. So um, we we got out of there, and uh, when we got out, uh, I was starved. I and I I did eat in the morning, not a lot, but I think I think it was all the nervous. Nervous energy. I use that term a lot. I, I don't know if that's the best term, but I was yeah. I was really hungry, so we uh, so we left there, and uh, at that point, uh, I'd kind of forgotten about my phone and and didn't uh, think until I got like to the car to get a hold of Gary George again because I really really did want to want to meet up with him because I don't think I've seen him since high school and I thought that would have been you know fun for me anyway I don't know how much fun it would have been for him but uh, I would have enjoyed it so but uh, and thanks so I want to thank Gary uh, again for for offering to meet up with me it didn't work I hope I hope somewhere somehow we can uh, meet up again and it might be at Hillcrest because I'll be back out there again real soon so um, we left, uh, uh, got in the car. I drove. Yeah, I drove. And uh, so we went out to the Fuji, Fuji Grill and Restaurant or something like that. It's in Menor, uh, right near the new Meyer store, which used to be the old Kmart store. Uh, on the south side of Route 20, and they have a buffet out there actually that uh, is uh, Chinese, I guess you could say, 
and uh, I guess it's Chinese, yeah, that would be Chinese, right, egg rolls and all that, and so we, we've eaten there more than a couple times, and uh, it's actually really a great deal for seniors. If you get out there uh, between 2 p.m. and 3.45 p.m. on Monday through Friday, uh, they have the buffet, and you they re recently increased the price. Um, so we, Vicki and I can eat for, I believe I looked at the uh, receipt, it was $15.38 for a buffet. And I, I enjoy the food. Now there's, as in all buffets, you have to, to learn what to eat and, and what not to eat. But, uh, but we always enjoy it enough, and, and certainly the price is right. So. Uh, and, and I like free food, so if I can't get free food, cheap food is good also. So, um, so we, uh, we had dinner out there, and then we liked to go to the library. So we went to the Mentor Library. Uh, Mentor Library is my favorite <clears throat> uh, large library in the area. Uh, my favorite small library is the Rock Creek Library. So, uh, but whenever we're in Mentor, we almost always go to the uh, to the library. And so we went to the library, and I was going through my usual routine when I go to the library, looking at the new book releases and that sort of thing. And uh, so I, at some point, you know, I just kind of wandered. Vicky was looking at some magazines and stuff uh, at the, in the one sitting area. And I kind of wandered over there, and she kind of looked at me, and she said... Uh, you ready to go? And I said, yeah, you know, I said, and, and apparently I, I was a little bit more tired than uh, anticipated. Uh, so I actually uh, had her drive home. I just thought, you know, I'll just sit back and, and relax. So we, uh, so we left the library and drove home and uh, got home about six o'clock, uh, fell asleep uh, on purpose. I said, yeah, I'm tired. This will help. So I felt. I think I slept from like six to eight. Woke up and and uh, you know just piddled around, watching some videos and stuff. I spent a lot of time watching uh, YouTube videos on topics that I'm interested in, and uh, so I stayed up for a while, uh, slept in this chair actually, um, for a while, and then finally. In the wee hours of the morning, I decided to go to bed, and so we went to bed, and I feel uh, pretty good this morning. I, I feel fine, actually. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, residual pain, I, did, I didn't take any, any pain meds. They told me to take some Tylenol or something, and I didn't take anything, don't, don't need anything. I have to be careful about lifting heavy objects for two days, I think it is, and... Uh, can't shower for 24 hours, so uh, so that that would actually be later today. So it's not like I don't ever go 24 hours without showering. So uh, so that was the uh, the um, the the wrap up of this. Um, if if the results are positive uh in fact when i say positive meaning should i have bone marrow cancer this will be a uh procedure that i believe will be done fairly regularly uh, i would not look forward to that um uh it's like the doctor said he said you know i've i've never had one of these procedures done to me and you know and I, I said yeah you'd, you'd kind of have to be an idiot to want to have to do this so um uh so uh so yeah so that's pretty much uh the uh the story of uh what went on uh yesterday um so this kind of brings us probably to a, a standstill uh, unless something interesting comes up again. Um, I hope to probably do the next video around 
March 10th. Uh, maybe the morning of March 10th. I think they've got that. I think they've got that scheduled for like 7 a.m. Which means I'm going to have to leave here. I like to give it plenty of time. I leave here by like 5 a.m. So that's going to be not that wonderful. Uh, I have to look and check and see. But uh, anyway, so um, that that wraps this video up, and it, it turns out it may be two videos, unfortunately. So uh, I'll call them part one, part two, if necessary. So uh, what do we have looking forward to uh, as far as videos go, uh, if you enjoy this sort of thing, um, is that uh, we've got the, the next biopsy coming up. Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll have results on this probably, certainly by early next week. Um, and that will be um, eventful. Is that an understatement? Uh, on my end, it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah. So actually, yeah. There may be a video, uh, maybe early next week, uh, where I guess I'll reveal the the results of this bone marrow biopsy. Uh, if I'm up to that sort of thing, uh, depending on the results. So, uh, so we'll see. Anyway, so hey, um, it's Tuesday. Have a good day and uh, talk to you again.